Hey guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Coding. In this video, I will be calculating the equation of a line in a coordinate plane. This video is the sequel to the Finding the Slope of a Line video that I made. So watch that if you haven't. For a little recap, the coordinate plane has two axes. The x-axis and the y-axis. X is horizontal and y is vertical. The way you find a point is by going the amount of units on the x-axis for the first coordinate, which is 3, and then the amount up for the second coordinate, which is 2. But if you have negative numbers, you just go the opposite. So you have to have it say you get negative 5, negative 5, and 3, 2. And so when I was showing you the equation for the line, there was the slope, and then there was this pesky little minus 0 0.625 at the end. And today, I will be explaining how I got that number. The first thing is that I multiplied 7 eighths times negative 5. And then I got minus 4.375. I subtracted that from negative 5, which is the y coordinate here. And I got minus 0 0.625. And that is what I added on to this. So that's how you calculate it. So we can go to the program now, and we have this, x1, y1 equals input to the point on the coordinate plane dot split comma, and we went through everything that I explained in the last video, and then here is where it really changes. So we made our slope to be round slope comma 5, which means it rounds what slope is for 5 decimal places y inter is the y intercept which is exactly where it hits the y axis and so that's y1 minus slope times x1 and that's exactly how i got the minus 0 0.625 and what i did is if the absolute of v inter i'll be saying that is v inter s is plus in quotes else s is nothing basically in prints, the slope of the line is brackets, the y-intercept for the line is brackets, and then the, the y, the equation of the line, and slope-intercept form, which it, in my opinion is the best form of writing equations for a coordinate plane, is y, brackets, x, brackets, brackets, dot format, r slope, inter, r slope, s, c inter. So, we put r slope here, inter there, R slope there, S there, and V inter there. So that's exactly how that works. So I put the 3, comma 2 at a negative 5, comma. A negative 5, just the slope of the line is 0 0.875, which is 7 eighths. The y intercept of the line is negative 0 0.625, which again was the thing that I had here. And the equation of a line in slope intercept form is y equals 0 0.875x minus 0 0.625. Now that is the end of the video. I really hope you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!